Meanwhile, the makeup of the Democratic ticket is now in the hands of the delegates. There are nearly 4,000 of them, and under Democratic Party rules, they are free to support any candidate they choose or change their minds until an official vote is conducted at the Democratic National Convention later this summer. That is scheduled for August 19th to 22nd in Chicago. With us now is Democratic National Committeeman Robert Zimmerman, a delegate at this year's DNZ. Thank you so much for joining us. Good to be with you. So while Harris is gaining support among delegates, do you think that her fate is sealed? Is there really another serious candidate up for nomination right now? Well, so far there isn't, but that doesn't happen by accident. It reflects the broad support that Vice President Harris has throughout the Democratic Party around the country. But she's very wise about the fact she said publicly she has to earn it. And by that I mean she has to go out and reach the delegates, connect with them, ask for their support, and really use this process to create energy and excitement and enthusiasm. That's already happening. In the first 24 hours, the Harris campaign raised $81 million. That is a record in presidential fundraising, all small, small dollar donations. Mr. Zimmerman, I know you said she has to earn it, but I think a lot of Democratic voters might would like to see a mini primary where she would have to debate other people to see if she could earn that spot. But that means someone has to run against her. Yeah. And that's the only problem with that theory. You know, it's great. Everyone likes it. And I do this, too. You play fantasy baseball at home about the teams you want to see in, in action. But the reason that she has gotten such strong support from so many regions of the country in just 24 hours is because of her, because of her appeal. And that really is crowded out of other people from running. But quite frankly, if she wasn't getting the support, I guarantee you there would be other people seizing the moment to jump into the breach and try to take advantage of that. But she's shown great strength as a candidate in this process. But this is just the beginning of the process. Mm -hmm. The nomination, while it's tough, that's the easy part of this process. Yeah, the convention is just four weeks away. Do you think it's going to be an open convention? Do you think it'll be a virtual roll call? What's that going to look like? Well, it's an open convention regardless. Because, you know, the days of party bosses dictating the votes and, um, and the days of party bosses dictating results we don't have maybe we'd be better off with some party bosses but we don't have them any so you have delegates who can really do their own thing and cast their own vote as they choose so it's an open process the issue is of course we may have to vote by virtual roll call this was decided this was an option back in may because the state of ohio would not change their laws this year so the nominee's got to be picked by august 7th to be on the ballot and so there may be, now the lawyers are working on that but we have to do a virtual roll call to avoid having a, having a Democrat for president knocked off the ballot in Ohio. Also, keep in mind, the Republican Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, is already threatening to try to maneuver uh, laws to deny a Vice President Harris, if she's the nominee, access to be on the ballot. Mm. And those are the kind of dirty tricks that blow up on me. It's not going to work, and it's really kind of lame that already he's trying to use that as a strategy to try to win the election. We are not done talking with yet. Democratic National Committeeman Robert Zimmerman. We'll chat with you in just a bit. Continue this Thank conversation. You. Absolutely. Thank you very much. And we want to hear from you at home. Do you agree with President Biden's decision to drop out of the 2024 race? Today's Insta poll is live on our website. You can head over to fox5ny.com to cast your vote.